I was just reminiscing about my friend Fidel Rodriguez who came here to the Keys on the Mariel boat lift. I was just remembering how terribly disappointed he seemed for his time here that uh, the streets weren't paved in gold and that the highlights of his existence here were uh, blowjobs from Karina for three dollars on credit or four frosty natural ice um, the following day or she would extend him credit and uh, his other great pleasure of being here in the United States was playing scratch-off tickets and he got the ultimate say so though he was slaving so I hear I'm not positive about this but he was slaving for little palm it's like fifteen hundred dollars a night and he gave him a great performance he he died on them out there so I know he had a daughter in Cuba that he missed he showed me a picture of her and she was like in a bathing suit and she had like this big bush that was coming out from from it you know the most appealing but you know I weren't too concerned about shaving I guess and um you know I was just kind of chuckling to myself I guess you know not to to poke too much fun but he sure as hell, uh, he, he never learned to speak English. He wouldn't even try. He was a, a Spaniard through and through. And uh, he would say, um, me, he knew how to say me, me for, you for me. That was like, you for me. If he wanted to borrow five bucks, he'd go, you, you, you for me. Or if it was 20 bucks, you for me. And he was always good for it. Uh, I never lent him money too much, but a time or two. But my buddy, Barefoot Mike, used to lend him money all the time. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's good for it, you know. He used to stand out in front of the Winn-Dixie and scratch, you know, like, if he had the money, he'd scratch two or $300 a day and scratch off. And he didn't like it when you came up and talked to him either because that was bad luck. Milo, bad, no suerte. You'd, you'd ruin his luck if you uh, if you made any kind of, fun about his scratching off the lottery tickets but god bless him